Scorpio, how you doing guys? Thanks for letting me read for you. I really do hope that you have a great Christmas. Well, it is 14.44 on the clock and before it was 14.41. So it's 14.44 on the clock now. So that might have some kind of relevance for you. Hope you have a really great Christmas, Scorpio. Thanks for letting me read for you. Uh, so if you're interested in the recommended reader, I have forgot at the beginning of some of them. So hopefully people are watching this, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. But it's Natalie. It is, uh, well, her name is Natalie. She's a Piscean, but it's uh, Alchemy in You. If you want to go over to her channel, some of you may have heard about her. She's a great channeler. Um, but if you want to go over to her channel to say that I said hi, I really would appreciate that. People have done that with Mike, <laughs> with Ooey Gooey Soft and Chewy, and he did leave a comment on the channel, so I really would appreciate uh, if um, anybody could do that, I really would appreciate it. Thanks, Scorpio. So that's the stuff out of the way. We can now concentrate on your energy, Scorpio. So 1444, eh? 1444. Uh, but Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 1st until the 15th of December, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 1st until the 15th of December, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Eyes wide shut is what I heard. Eyes wide shut. First to the 15th of December, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 1st to the 15th. Thank you. Wow. So the second card out was Ten of Pentacles. And then the Seven of Pentacles, money, 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 Steve. All I'm concentrating on is money. I want what I want. <laughs> I want what I want. I get what I get. Yes. So what you're going to get is the Ten of Pentacles. This is things that make you go, hmm, an exchange. I want a better exchange rate. Some of you are looking for a better exchange rate in a relationship, but all you, you're also looking for a better exchange and a better offer. I think a lot of you now, there's a lot of things on the table where you can now take your pick. It's like, I can take my pick and my bunch from, from bunch. Or something bunch. I'm thinking of bunching. Bunches? Bunches. But um, I can now pack a punch and I can take the punches and I can take it as it comes and I can take it and leave it is also what I'm hearing. But I think a lot of you that this is an investment into something. Uh, but then the Ten of Pentacles, this is you are probably going out Christmas shopping with family. Feeling family, I think a lot of it is to do with money as well. There's a lot of it. So this is like wanting money, earning money, earning a crust and a new idea. This uh, obviously eight. So some of you are spiritual and you're manifesting that into your life. You're going to have messages, downloads of messages possibly from somebody or from spirit that's going to give you a good idea of how to earn more. So whatever you're earning now you will have more that comes in. There will be more. So don't worry, Scorpio, if you are in some... I don't think that any of you are in financial struggle, but if you are, there's going to be more that's going to be coming in, so don't worry. They're also saying, don't panic, don't worry. I, I don't think that you are, though, Scorpio. I really don't think that you are. I don't think that you're in want or need for anything, to be honest, at the moment. I think that you've got a very good idea and a strategic work plan and an ethic. If this is also for a partner of your desire... I think that um, that um, I think that you're <laughs> I think that you're play like not playing a game, but I think like the game is yours. I'm picking up Michael Douglas' game, but the game is yours. It's kind of like a game of life. It's kind of like this is my opportunity now, and this is my to now be able to do what I want to do. So I think a lot of you, it's I'm kind of bitterly channeling it through as. Um, as where it's kind of like I can I can literally afford to do what I want to do now, where I have a good amount of savings, and that because of those savings, that's my security blanket, and because that's now in place, I can now choose what I want to do to do with work, where I can do other things as well because I'm free now. So a lot of you, if this is spiritual stuff, you're kind of freed up now, where you've probably just released a load of things, and now you can kind of take a bit of a break because your money's coming in, or something like that. If this is work then you work very, very hard for your money. Very hard for your money. We know what the Eight of Pentacles looks like. It's the person that's working extremely hard and building up their business. But that's also the Akashic records and ideas that are coming through, fed through for you to uh, do different things. Venture. I think an adventure that you're looking for. An adventurous. I think that you are adventurous. But at the moment, I'm not picking this up as... If it is love, then I think it's a lot to do with like, well, what's love got to do with it at the moment? Because really what I'm concentrated on is work. I think that work is there, um, uh, love could well be there, but when it's there, it's kind of like, well, it's there, but it's in the back of my mind because my full focus is my money. Full focus, full focus. I keep picking up Ford Focus. I picked it up for someone else, but that's a British car, I'm sure. Ford Focus. But um, 
in the forefront of my mind here is money and is family and is to be able to if it isn't family it's just generally that you can just do what you want you know it's there it's right at the forefront of your mind you're manifesting it into reality you're thinking which is really good it's a it's a proper work ethic of stepping into the dream this is the dream this is the desire there will be a video that I'm going to do up with giving my version of stepping into your new reality, but this is you stepping into what you've manifested over this period of time. It would all be to do with energy shifts and changing. But change, looking at, I, I heard shortchanged, but not shortchanged. It's kind of like people are going to offer you, these are clients as well that you might work for, that will be um, wanting to know uh, about your business. There's someone that wants to know about your business as well. If that is a love life, then you'll be discussing it about um, making a family together or making it together. Okay, so let's see. So you have the nine of pentacles coming over as well. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising and Venus from the 1st until the 15th. Sorry, Scorpio. I'm even getting excited. I don't know why. I think there's an excitement in the air for a lot of you to do with Christmas, but money... Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 1st until the 15th of December. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please continue on with the same timeline for Scorpio. The same story for Scorpio from the 1st until the 15th of December. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Intentions for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 1st until the 15th of December. And there you go. Wow, so they're happy ever after. So I think a lot of you, this is your life partner. This is stuff that makes you go, hmm... I think there's curiosity in the air of something becoming more stable where it's like, OK, well, this is my partner. This is my opportunity and this is the love of my life for a lot of you. If it isn't, then you're just very, very happy with your family and you're very, very, very comfortable money wise and you're very comfortable within yourself. 100 percent sure. To me, this is a Piscean. OK, this is an open water sign. But if not, this is like where there are no more delays. The delays are over. I think that retrograde kind of uh, Vedic wise kind of ends December, uh, early December, but where it's all freed up now. If there was stagnation, it's not anymore and it's coming through thick and fast. I don't think any of you there were. There was just an, um, a momentary, a momentary, ugh, I can't even say it, a momentarily lapse of reason. Someone wants to reason with you and they want to talk to you about happily ever after to do with family of what's most important but this might be a message that you give them that you're thinking of which is what is the most important thing to you because if there are errors of fear that are there that are keeping things waiting then you have to face that fear because they're all about personal growth and a lot of times people within fear back down from fear because they don't want to go through it but you have to because it's your karma and you can't run from it okay because you've got two tens which is cycles beginning and ending it, you would pick up a lot of synchronicities of numbers, but um, this is like just as you're about to receive something. So you're also about to probably write and give someone a message to say, you know, what's most important to you? Am I most important to you? And the stability of this relationship, is it most important to you? Because I love you and I want to be with you. But if you want to be with me and we want to be together, then for us to be together... We need to think about and talk about of an amicable discussion of what we're going to do also do for Christmas to bring people together. There's a togetherness here. Scorpio, someone was in the Venus from the 1st until the 15th of December. I've really got to have a drink, that's why I can't speak at the moment. I've been trying to keep up on my readings and uh, I'm trying to churn them all out. Scorpio. First until the 15th of December for Scorpio. Please continue on this timeline. The same story for Scorpio. Wow. Oh my word. The Four of Wands. A lot of you, this is uh, an engagement party or an engagement or a consummation of the relationship where this would be a lot to do with where you are possibly going to meet the family. These, this is, wow. <laughs> Uh, this is a good relationship if you're in one. This is a person that's in a very good relationship. This would be a couple. This is a coupled relationship. Okay? Um, that you're happy with your partner, but there are discussions over things. Now, this might be to do with about where you want to live. 
If you are thinking of physically living together, if you don't, this would be you talking about living together or apart. But I don't think it's about apart. I think it's about finding a common ground of a value of how you can build a life together. This can be possible marriage or a long-standing commitment that well, you would definitely know this person, 100%. Seven, you have, you've definitely spent time with them, okay? Um, but these, these are wedding vows for some of you. It's like renewing wedding vows. So these can be parents that are renewing wedding vows, and this would be an invitation to a party. But um, I think that a lot of you, this is where that I'm feeling retrograde around, okay? And I'm feeling it around, but then I'm feeling all of a sudden there's a, a snap and it's kind of like, ah, all of a sudden things are not quite as foggy as what they were. And all of a sudden my mind has been made up. So there's a, 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 a slow period of just thinking about it. And I think that what you're thinking about, Scorpio, is to make this person a proposal. Or if it isn't, this is them thinking about proposing to you. Now, if it isn't a marriage proposal, it's they're going to propose something to you as a business opportunity here. OK, there's that as well. There's also a proposal that this person or you or both of you are thinking about to say to one another, you know what? Why don't we just live together? Why don't we are the one you move in with me or I move in with you? Or why don't we just forget the world and live together somewhere else? OK, and start a a family. If it isn't a family, then it would just be to start a possible family in the future. But if it isn't, it's just let's just start memories going. Let's focus on the good times, not the bad times. So if there are any bad times that are created through the six here, that would be a gift that's given to you by astrology as well. But um, <laughs> I'm just picking up that there's your partners like bought you Christmas presents. I do. I think they've bought you quite a lot. I think some of them are stocking fillers. <laughs> so sorry if I'm bursting people's like, oh, <laughs> but I think someone's bought you a lot of stocking fillers where they're meaningful presents. I think one of them might be a big present, but I think that a lot of them also are meaningful stock fillers where they're just funny gadgets and things for some of you. They're just niceties, uh, niceties, the nice, I'm picking up fine uh, the finer things in life. I like the finer things in life and I think your partner does too. I know for a fact that a lot of you, your partner loves you. Um, I think that this is just them and you thinking in the same direction if you don't know whether they are or not. I think they're thinking that exactly the same time as what you're thinking and it's all about this four of wands. If it isn't about marriage, it's just more of being able to afford our own place together. If it isn't and you are single, this would be you very happy being single, but you are thinking about, you know what, now I can afford to buy my own apartment and my own store also. Some of you might be looking into your store, uh, storage stuff and storing things, but also your own products of things that you can sell, okay? Or it's a shop that you might own or want to own, if it isn't a physical shop, then you do it somewhere else. It's kind of like you you do that kind of thing. Because this would be merchandise that's being looked at because this person's storing up all their merchandise that they make on a market stall here, but they make it here, okay, and they're making it. And they're thinking about pushing it out to sell it to public, to the public. So you've got, wow, <laughs> how much money have you got, Scorpio? <laughs> you've got the eight of coins now. There it is from, well, there, eight, two eights, 16, <laughs> which is seven. Okay, again, there, more product value, more money, more money, more money, more money. Someone has turned into Tom Cruise, right? Cruising, it's now cruising. You are now cruising in life, Scorpio. You have no concern to do with money. If you do, don't worry, it's coming in. But that would be, if you're more of an entrepreneur, that would be quite a lot more. 
If you work for the government and it's a set wage, then that's how much it would be. But I'm also picking up that you have ideas of being other things that, that you possibly do work. Well, we all work for the government, right? But if you work for a, a Pacific check, then that's your check coming through. But I think that there's more of uh, invest of, of stuff that you love to do with projects. This is you working on a project and giving it everything that you've got and working on that where that probably gives you a bit of income too. Okay. There's uh, income value I'm picking up, income tax, income tax. For some of you, it's uh, income tax. So you might own your own apartment and you might be leasing it out to someone or leasing something out and you're going to be the one that's charging the income tax. Okay, So you might own a house and you sell your house to a family here and you can move to another place where you can now... Uh, have that one a lot cheaper because one department will pay for the other and then you can live freely and then you can kind of, you know, there's that too. It's a bit like home from home. Like some people have two homes. That's the four. There's two and two. I have one place here and I have one place there. That's also two businesses. That's also for some of you, it is two apartments and two homes. This can be a place in the Spain or in, in Sun. <laughs> Maybe you want to come over to Britain way, but Spain. Okay, where it's kind of like an apartment in the uh, Maldives or somewhere, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, the Hamiltons or something. But you would have a place here and a place there. And you can probably lease that out, earn some money that will pay for the place that you live now, but you can earn some more money as well. So some of you are very well off, okay, uh, or will be. Um, let's see, 7, yeah, 8, 16, 7 again. So... Okay, you've got the Knight of Blades. So this is focus. This is requiring your focus to make sure that you don't make a mistake. This is perfection. Someone likes perfection, work ethic. Me, 100%. Always concentrated on work on my next project. But this is a work ethic. This is someone that's paying very close attention to what they're doing, but someone's trying to gain their attention here. So I'm picking up trying to gain uh, public um Something public or trying to gain respect. This person is very respectful for what they do because they're full of it. Okay, but this is obviously the Knight of Blades was as a sharp message. Okay, but this would be people coming in to say, okay, well, what have you got? So that you're going to receive a message from someone that wants your attention whilst you're at work. This is kind of like I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm focused. It's all coming in. Here's the money. Here's the dream. Here's me stepping into my rea reality, and then all of a sudden. There's Shaggy in the background that goes, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> right? But right? Well, Scooby Doo. But uh, there is someone that's going to try and guess, uh, guess, guess, guess. Someone is a bit like guess who, guess who. You know, play that game when you flick them down. You're like, ah, oh, guess who? <laughs> it's like, ah, here's Johnny. It's like, guess who? <laughs> I'm back. Someone's back. So there's like, guess who? I'm not picking up the game. Guess who? But. You would know this person, but whatever that is, this is you focusing very much. So I'm picking up through this deck, there's a seven of cups that's coming out. Let's see. So I'm not going to take that one because I stopped the pack to see what was underneath, but uh, continue on this timeline, please. Four. But contracts, phones for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Moon, Venus. From the 1st until the 15th. I was trying to see if that is and if that was underneath the deck because I would have laughed. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the first until the fifteenth of December. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the first until the fifteenth of December. Thank you. So you've oh dear. So you're coming up against also a mother or someone. This came up in another. This is a, a decision that you have to make for a business too. This is a strict work ethic, which is good. This is a strictness and a sternness. You're going to get a message also. Some of you, some of you, not all of you, Scorpio, for some, right? You do have a mother. <laughs> some mothers do have them, right? But a mother that tries to get your attention away from what you're doing. So this would be you focusing on work and perfecting your art and perfecting yourself to be what you want to be in life and the best that you can be. And this person here rolls their eyes at you when you do it here this person they can try to get your attention away from what you're doing that stops it and that's what's causing some of this conflict 
They can be very sharp in their words that pull your focus away from you manifesting your dreams and desires. Your dream and desire is here, and I'm pretty much picking up that this is you working, but there is someone that does distract you at work. This person can be very stern and cutting. This can be a landlady, a landlord, a grandparent, or a mother or father. Pretty much normally a woman, okay? But someone that's really trying to... This is you focusing on work. This is a message, also Knight of Swords, that comes in very sharply from this person to distract you. So you can relate that to whoever you want. But they distract you whilst at work. And they point out things about wanting to know your business. So if people are in your business, but I'm picking up more up as in your head, as in your business. Wanting to know what you're doing, where you're going. What time did you say this? What time do you need the car? <laughs> <laughs> what time do you need that? What time are you going to be back? This person sticks to a strict work ethic, which is for you, great, but also a strictness in your life, a stern energy, wants to know left and right, right and wrong, forward, back, left and right. A very stern approach to someone that just takes information from you. They want to know your information. They're inside it, inside out of your information. Okay, so that person's there. So this can be you cutting that person out too. Okay, You might also have air in your chart, but you do have that around you. You might have air in your chart that is not compatible with, or any sign, not compatible with a mother or parent. It's just the, the wavelength of discussion is not compatibility to do with how you talk with one another. It's kind of like, don't talk to me like this. Or stay out my business. That's kind of like the discussion it would go. Stay out my business. I'm trying to focus on my money. And I'm trying to focus on my dream and what I want. Everybody tells me, which is true, in order to keep positive value and respect and value for what you want, you can't think of negativity. You also have to live of the dream of the bubble to step into it from one timeline to another. That's how you transition. But when you try that, there's someone that hinders your process that gets you to focus on negativity, and it stops this. It's there, but this is why you might see small pieces of information that come through, and also small pieces of manifesting reality, because it's there, but, but when you stop that positivity, and what you're good about, two, 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 two on the clock, when that happens, some people miss a lot of things that come through, because that's their manifesting. Manifesting takes pure ultimate focus in one direction to get the most out of it, okay? When you're scattered in all of these directions with your thoughts that someone can make you focus on, that can be family, when you're trying to focus on your main dream and desire, your mind gets scattered. That's general people in life. When it's scattered here, what you get is small opportunities in life for some, okay? Sometimes they're big, but for some of you, it comes in scatteredly because there is someone that pulls your focus away from it. It might be the fact that you are a parent and that you have children or someone that requires your focus as well as your work and you're just a career woman, okay, or man. And because of that, it's all really good and you probably don't really care. So it's like, well, I've got everything, all my ducks in a row that are all here, but there is some kind of attention that is needed here, Queen of Blades, definitely. But that is true about manifesting. To, to get the most amount of what you see through manifesting, to be grateful for it, you see more out of the value of what you're getting when you can focus in one direction because that will all come to you. But as life takes over and ego takes over and people are in our lives, it requires our focus to come off it to go back to normal life. When we go back to normal life and we have to deal with also energies like this, it stops that from happening. And then we sometimes, for some, they get pieces in that is enough, but it's not enough of what they really can have. But it is there. Okay, it is there. So, the fall. This came out in another reading in exactly the same place. Same two cards, but slightly differently. Okay, so you might want to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. you got Piscean energy here. This is what I'm saying. This is a Pisces rainbow. Open water sign. The rainbow's in the back there. 
Okay, so it is a Pisces to me, but it can be anybody. But um, there's someone that keeps trying to point something out to a Pisces here that might be watching that might have a mother that is very interfering in their energy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sorry, Scorpio, you know I'm a Scorpio and rising, right? <laughs> but this is a mother that's very stern that points out things about this new beginning, okay, that says right or wrong. You know, and it distracts this person from getting their dreams and desires of a new beginning of traveling and, and just like mind escape. As like, I need to escape this energy here. For a lot of you, this is just family. These are also doctor's appointments as well that some people might have. Okay, but um, this new beginning is great and it's there and it's here. But there's a go between again for another reading that I've just finished and trying to think what that was. Libra. Libra, this could be a Libra, okay? Because it's it's on my editing software, it's just finished. <laughs> but uh, interfering with an energy, that could be sun, moon, rising in Venus, or it don't even have to be a Libra. But there is someone that is interfering with energy, 100% about this new beginning that you want with your partner, that it's making someone self-doubt themselves. The, the, it's kind of like not self-doubt, and it's like more of an energy of like, listen, I can do what I want when I want. You don't need to tell me anything in life. I can do it myself. Okay, independence. Great. But there is still an energy of someone that distracts you that can be controlling. Because it can be fear. It, I mean, for, oh God, sorry, but I mean, I'm going through something very narcissistic and family wise. But I'm trying to just not pay attention. to <laughs> But um, that does happen, you know. They can change their mind from one second to another second. And then once their mind's changed, they thought, well, I thought your mind was made up. Why are you just changing your mind for? My mind is there. I'm like pure <laughs> sanity. But there's some kind of insanity here for a lot of you where you're seeing someone as slightly insane. Okay. Um, but let's see. Because I'm picking up Zane of like one direction. <laughs> Directing. It's good for directing your own company, but directing, someone directs you around Scorpio and you do not like it, guys. Uh, and for a lot of you, you don't like it. But I don't think why anybody would like that, being directed around. This is directing around. It's like, no, you can do, you should do that. You should do this. You can go, listen, listen then. Mind your business. <laughs> Mind your business. I, listen, do what I want. <laughs> There's that energy there, Scorpio. <laughs> I think a lot of this is that you probably want to move in with your partner and you might be discussing about that but you've got to go through their family these are queer as folk there's now queer as folk and these are the in-laws as well this is the in-law revenue oh I heard the in-law uh, revenue revenue uh, inland revenue the inland revenue hmm <coughs> Inland, it's coming inland, it's coming into land. <laughs> land a deal as well, to land a deal. Okay, so you've got the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, and then you've got saving and building money. This is trying to protect yourself from this energy here. Whoever this is, energy here, this is Oliver Twist. This is, please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> Please, sir, can I have some more? Right? So it might mean that you have kids and they're just asking for pocket money, okay? But this person asks and cries for more of attention from a child or from a mother or someone, okay? But they cry for attention from this person that's trying to work on their self, on their career. And they're trying to protect themselves from this energy here because it's all great here and it's all good, but they're trying to avoid this person. Because they're concentrated on the money that they've got and the love life that they have. And they're saying, butt out of my business. I am Scorpio. Butt out of my business. I don't need you in my business. I don't need to tell you how much money I've got. I don't need to tell you how much I earn. I don't need to tell you this. I don't need to tell you about my partner. I don't need to discuss things. <laughs> it can bring about bad karma. I've trusted you before. I tell you my information. And that when I do tell you my, my information, you use it against me. So I keep it from you. And then this person wants to know, well, I just want to talk. And you say, I don't want to talk. I've tried talking before that when I do talk, you use that information against me to, to, to try to give me an opinion. 
this person can be very opinionated to say what you should and shouldn't do with your life. And you think, well, I don't need your opinion. Yeah, but I just want to talk. Yeah, well, talking isn't an opinion. You just want to talk. But when I talk, you're very opinionated to give me your opinion when I didn't ask for it. <laughs> right? I can feel it, Scorpio. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. So you protect yourself. That doesn't have to mean your partner, or I mean, if you are protecting yourself against your partner, then you're very guarded, okay? But I'm generally picking this up as that you're protecting yourself from somebody. Take your pick, whoever that's from. I would pretty much say that for some of you, that is a grandparent or a parent or something that distracts you and you protect yourself from it. This is you saying, get out of my head. <laughs> get out of my head. But, nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Great. Ten of cups. One, nine, ten. Life partnership. Love life. Could be fantastic. Right? But, definitely problem here, Scorpio. A definite problem for you guys. But, pff, that's life, right? <laughs> you might be from New York, but that's life. Unfortunately... That is life. I mean, these might even be friends that have an opinion. And it's like, I don't need your opinion. I didn't ask for your opinion. I just asked for your help. <laughs> well, not even help. I didn't even ask for your help. I didn't even ask for your opinion. But it's a bit like, help. I need somebody to help. Not just anybody. When I was younger, not so much younger than today. I never needed anybody's help in any way. Uh, let's see, Scorpio, one more card, please. For Scorpio. What have we gone? Oh, no, we have. I'll do that on the other side. That's half an hour. Okay, guys, so we'll draw one more card here, and then we'll clarify it with another deck, okay? This will give me the second value and the second lift of really going in depth of what's going to happen. These are just general messages for YouTube that are giving you a general perspective for me to give you more of that. That's where I clarify the cards to give you a better perspective of what's going to happen, okay? And the outcomes and the turn-ups. That's a turn-up. <laughs> turn-up and turn-out. But there's definitely a turn-up. I don't know if it's going to be a turn-up for a worse with this person here because you are protecting yourself from someone, I, I feel, okay? But I don't feel that's from your love partner. I think there's just a, 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 an air of persuasion in the way that someone keeps trying to persuade you for something and you're kind of like just, you know <laughs> okay all right scorpio so you can find this on vimeo or patreon patreon gives you access to four different lots of readings it's more cost effective because you can obviously watch those as many times as you like and then also something rising in venus for your partner as well if that's what you're interested in um or you can find it on Vimeo in the bi-weekly folder over on Vimeo. And you can find those links in the description. If you want a personal reading also, you can find the links to those. And the new channel that I've got called Everything Music. I will be putting certain amounts of uh, videos and stuff that I normally put on the beginning of videos. Uh, the music intros and the, the stuff that I've done for, uh, for um, meditation, all that kind of thing. They will be added here, but some things I'm trying to get the other channel going too to build it up. So if you want to join that, I really would appreciate it. During Christmas, there will be some music very much so to look forward to hopefully that you might like that i'm going to do but i'm going to do things differently but i hope you like those they will be put out on here and on the other channel so i hope that you join that too okay scorpio let's see what's going to happen i hope you have a great christmas i will be back doing other readings during the month and uh, i will catch you guys uh, soon okay thank you very much scorpio see you soon